The graphical evolution of The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening is truly impressive. I love sitting down and putting the moments side by side with the Game Boy Color version. To share this with you and to meet Nintendo's commentary requirement, I collected a few scenes that really show how they've changed Link's Awakening in a beautiful manner. So with that said, let's take a trip down memory lane and talk about how a few of these scenes have changed. First up, the opening. Struggling to keep his boat afloat, we all know that Link succumbs to the storm, but I love how they've modernized this opening sequence with a new, stunningly animated moment. Once he wakes up in this mysterious home, you can notice the subtle touches that really enhance the moment. Besides the new animation style, you see the eggs on the stove, flowers on the dresser, and a teapot on the table. It's really nice to see this scene fleshed out. <laughs> Mabe, or maybe, or however you say it, village, looks about as you'd remember. They're still your chicken friend, and the terracotta tiles on the roof are an excellent touch, but I like how the gameplay mechanics are still conveyed simply but strikingly with overgrown blades of grass alongside the shorter sections. As we begin exploring to find our Master Sword, we get a good look at how they changed the climate of the original. Grass we went over, but seeing desert go from an orange set of pixels to a smoothly sandy look that differentiates from the beach is all done wonderfully. The most iconic scene in any Zelda game is getting your sword for the first time. Notice the owl is now all black instead of one orange block of color, and how the spikes of the corner characters have been given more personality. Headed into the forest, we found the layout to be the same down to enemy placement. Trees still look muddied, but I especially like how the shield mechanic translates in this remake. It still works as the original did, but the combat feels smoother in the new version, probably because you can move in all directions. The fairy we found has glowing orange wings now, lily pads, and a flower in her pond, but she still has the same overgrown grass around her to explore for rupees and hearts should you need them. She's even increased her fashion sense with a new dress. Remember the witch? Inside, the way they've retained the sphere of pots, kept the pear-shaped nose on the witch, and added skulls, spears, and a book in the background is great. What about her bed, though? Maybe witches don't sleep. Heart pieces like this one that was hidden are still amazing, of course. The added glow enhances the moment in the new version with a glow backed up by a modernized chime for finding something of interest. The music throughout also, just note, has been remastered spectacularly. And finally, here's the first dungeon. As we head inside, note the enhancements, the lighting adds to the scene, and the change to the tile. Just as creepy, but just as wonderful also. Thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed the subtle commentary we had to add. I'll leave you with this room, which left me the most frustrated. In addition to that, though, don't forget to check out our final preview from Brian Altano. For more on Link's Awakening, keep it right here on IGN.